and it's pretty chilly out here today but that's not going to stop us from going into Europe's largest air museum. Come along on this trip. <laughs> subscribe to the channel and if you haven't subscribed go on and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode
Uh, I'm working up. Danger heading. That calls for. Got that one. Power up. Duxford from here. Academy Our next track will be 016. Academy 02 3 3 0 1 1. Time is 27. Roger, Academy 02 will be. Turning. Golf Delta Victor, like uh, frequency change to drop sort information 122 decimal 080. Golf Delta Victor, Roger, speak soon, bye bye. Cheers, speak soon, bye. So is uh, airfield inside. I'm just wondering if I can get a right base for 06. Delta Victor, a firm report on right base. So two in the circuit. Roger, report right base. Golf Delta Victor. Golf Delta Victor is right base 06. Roger, report turning final 06 right. Report turning final 06 right. Golf Delta Victor. This museum trumps everything in Italy, France and Germany. This is the biggest museum in the whole of Europe. The fact about Duxford is sadly this is Concord 101 and records hold it that this is the Concord that flew the fastest amongst all the other Concords. Also, this is the only Concord in the world that's got the nose angle of 17 and a half degrees. Now many other Concords have the 5.5 for takeoff, 12.5 for landing, but this one has not only 5.5, 12.5, it also has 17.5. This aircraft. Now, this aircraft is called the De Havilland Comet 4, and the Duke of Edinburgh records hold it actually flew this aircraft on one of his Canadian tours. And if you look on top of the aircraft, that's the reason why he flies a royal flag. Interesting 
facts about Docks for the Dan. It has one of the most grade one and grade two listed properties on any aerodrome across the whole of Europe. With more than 30 of these dotted around the airfield, it's testament to its architectural and historical significance dating back to 1918. Interesting. words about volunteering at Duxford. Duxford is an aviation museum. If you have any interest in aircraft, then this is the place that you want to be. Uh, we are, there are two societies here, the Imperial War Museum and the Duxford Aviation Society. As you can see, we're standing outside a Concord, which is at the Imperial War Museum. And if you want to become a volunteer, you can come and spend time on Concord. We spend time in the flight deck, we do demonstrations of the nose troop, uh, and that's quite an, quite an impressive sight to see. But Con Duxford is a, a very interesting place to be. It is a working airfield. There's aircraft in and out all the time. We have all sorts of uh, wartime aircraft, or war, war birds as they call them. We have actual flying Spitfires, Hurricanes, uh, we have a B-17, the Sally B, you might have seen or heard of. She is uh, stationed here. Uh, at the moment she's being serviced, but you can go and see it. Uh, so all in all, if you want to become a volunteer, this is a very, very, very interesting place to work as a volunteer. You'll learn a lot and see a lot. Uh, it's been fantastic exploring all those reasons, hidden gems about Duxford. But you know, sometimes in life, you've got to have a sixth sense. And there is one more reason why my pilot friends fly all the way from north, south, east and west into Duxford. Come on along with me and I'll show it to you. <music> you have people who want to be pilots and uh, you wonder how do you start sometimes 
volunteering is the best way. And uh, find a volunteering opportunity, take it and make the best of it. Thank you.